Shirley Major has a re-release of his uh, song, It Can Happen to Me, the 25th anniversary edition, which will be available everywhere on Friday. Joining CJWE is Charlie Major. Charlie, tell us all about the decision to uh, re-release uh, your hit song. You know what? Over the years, I've had so much, uh, you know, response to that song and, uh, you know, how it uh, kind of changed some people's lives and... Uh, um, consoled other people unfortunately after the fact you know uh, and I thought you know what it'd be nice to have another generation you know hear this song and and, and hopefully raise some awareness in their lives uh, about the cost of drinking and driving And uh, but I also thought at the same time that uh, you know it wouldn't be me that you know record, records the song and uh, I just I thought the only way to get it across would be if uh, you know you made it a, an event you know and uh, so I enlisted the help of all these uh, country artists, uh, you know, like uh, Terry Clark and Dean Brody and uh, Brett Kissel and, you know, there's a whole list of this, about 16 of them. And uh, I think uh, perhaps it uh, will get some play. You know? uh, this is a great lineup as well, Charlie. Uh, what was their response when you first approached them to do this project? You know what? Everybody just, there was no uh, having to convince anyone. Uh, you know, they just all agreed uh, you know without hesitation and uh, it just I was amazed and, and flattered and just so happy that uh, you know it was there was no fighting or anything there was no you know trying to coax anyone they just all agreed to do it and uh, it was great for a good cause let's go back 25 years ago tell us about the song and how it all came about the original kind of idea was uh, from a nephew of mine who uh, died of a drug overdose and uh he actually, his friends uh, had to, said to me after his funeral that uh, that was one of his favorite things was that you know it couldn't he said it can't happen to me and as soon as I heard that and I just I just thought wow you know I mean I think we all think that you know when we're when we're younger and uh, we think we're invincible and uh, you know we're going to live forever and uh, no matter what we do and uh, I'd already lost a couple of friends uh, drinking and driving and. Uh, I just thought, you know, I'll try and put the two together uh, because it's the same attitude, you know, that, you know, whether you're doing drugs or you're drinking and, you know, we just think we're invincible. Again, the re-release is coming out August 17th. Uh, proceeds going to Mad Canada. What's been the reaction from your fans about uh, the re-release of this song? Those are, uh, you know, I mean, I've talked about it, uh, you know, when we're doing concerts uh, for the last couple of months and, uh, you know, the response has been just... Uh, eager I guess you know I guess people are just really eager to hear this song and uh, uh, even on uh, you know social media you know whether it's uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or, uh, you know the response is everybody just saying you know we can't wait to hear it and before we let you go Charlie let's talk about uh, your uh, soon to be released album more of the best greatest hits volume 2 that's coming out September 7th well I just thought you know uh, I couldn't get all the songs uh, you know the the big hit songs on the, on the last one, uh, and uh, just thought, you know what, let's let's just do this again, and uh, you know, get the rest of the songs that were big hits uh, back in the days, and uh, you know, put a couple of new songs on there, and of course, the uh, remake of "It Can't Happen to Me" is going to be on there also. Charlie Major joining CJWE. Charlie, what's on the schedule for you for the rest of the summer? CCMAs are coming up. Uh, we're actually playing. Uh, I'm playing in Toronto on Friday night with Dean Brody, as a matter of fact, and uh, and Jess Moskaluk, and uh, then uh, we're doing a big festival here in uh, in Ontario called Havelock uh, Country Music Festival, which is uh, you know, kind of like uh, the uh, the big valley, you know, of Ontario. You know, but then the CCMAs are coming up, and uh, going to be there, and uh, after that, I, I don't know yet.